Rian and Buta, on a father and son excursion to Stroes Bay, excited to see what will unfold. Uh, very, very pleasant. Eh? So, yeah, so I hope something is coming uh, as a bit donker, so let's see what happens. Eh? Awesome, eh? yeah. huh? Okay, so uh, we're gonna put some liveys out. The only ones you could find today was some uh, was bunkers and a couple of strippies. So this is not rigged up already. We all know how to uh, work the, the cable tie through the eyes. So I like to do a little piece of tubing there. It's nice and light. And uh, the hooks here at me, so uh, not too much hardware on the fish. Let's just rig it through there. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, well, that thing will not come loose. So, there you go. Nice and simple. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I was putting this in Oplex, I see a reggae RC. So, uh, let's see what happens, eh? I say. What the suck? I say. I say, look at that. Yeah, did you do a live bunker on this one? Of course, mate. Uh, uh, it should be very close now, so yeah. Ah, smoothie. Okay. Oh, well, that was something better than that, but yeah. Okay, smoothie. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. Well, it's because he is the reggae. Very good team. That's why I came to Strays by four. First cars with Livy, the smoothie, our baby reggae. Very happy. Okay, we're going to put him back, huh? Eh? Let's fix it. I say. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, do a quick uh, afterwork session at Bacasa. Uh, early afternoon. It's going to be a spring high at about four o'clock. So we've got about two and a half hours of a really good pushing tide. Strong southeastern. Uh, nice flat water, so it's a lot of chop on the water, it's not really ground swap. Uh, it's, it's really, uh, it looks really, really nice. I mean, you can have a very good day. Uh, nice color in the water as well. So, um, I'm going to be targeting on the, on the one rod uh, a couple of uh, boss cobbies, some uh, smaller cobbies. Uh, I've got clean chocker on there, nice thin, long uh, chocker bait. And on this one, I'm going to do full Blu ray. Uh, maybe a cobby as well, but it's going to be specifically a Blu ray. And uh, the bait I've been using the last uh, couple of weeks was good success is that uh, anchovies, that uh, Yakita bait and tackle, they're selling it. That's it's like little oil balls. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, they're deadly. When you put it on your bait, you get a pull. If it's uh, got any flat fish, even some cobbies as well. So really simple to bait up. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. It's really simple. And uh, yeah, I'll start the countdown for a pull, hopefully. So let's see what happens. All right. So we're going to use a uh, 5 fine wire. It's a little uh, Dacron dingle that I make, nice and simple. So what I do, uh, take the anchovies, lie them all 
more or less the same direction. And I think about five or six of them, and just tie them up together. But like, like keep it nice and streamlined. Uh, just to, yeah, a base for your bait. It's a mushy bait, uh, but yes, you don't have to cut these. They are so full of oil that even when frozen solid, they, they are not solid. It's like butter. <laughs> so yeah. So there you go. That's your base. Tie it on nice and solid. Simple, there's nothing too fancy about this. It's just a big messy bait that costs alright and will give you a pull. And now you just take some of these boys. They're oily and slimy, but yeah, you know, they're still actually nice and firm. <laughs> it's like uh, little snot bodikis. Yeah, all you do is just take them in there like that and just start forming your bait. So nice and tight in the front on the heads. Look at softer in the middle. You don't want to squish everything up, you know? It's a lacquer bait if, uh, if you're waiting for a tide to push, you know, it's like a quiet time of the day. Just to yeah, use this bait and get a pull from something at least. I mean, fish bait normally <laughs> gives you some action. Uh, take those heads, you can squash the heads a bit and then make it streamline. There we go. Ah, put some open it. Now, some of the soft ones. Okay. Show it looks like in the sun. Right, so get up for it. Get a little clip there. Okay, so what I want for these uh, blue rays, see a big bank rolling in the back. It's gonna come, it's gonna disappear slightly, and then there's washing over quite a lucky little small deep hole. Uh, it's gonna go away now. See, there's your hole. All right, so that's your hole. It's gonna pick up now again. Now, where it picks up again, I'm gonna throw just behind that. It's a really shallow cast actually. Hey, it picks up now, doof, it just caught just behind that. Oh, they literally sit just behind the, well, the El Macasa, the first back line. Uh, where the sand picks up just behind that. And if you have a wave like that rolling through every now and then, even better. First two costs. Whoa, massive cold set. Weird in the water. Woo! Okay, guys, nice this. Oh, yes, man. Over 5 over fine wire. Okay. Let me get the other card off. There we go. 43.5 total. There you go. I'm gonna get it back quickly. Okay, we're gonna put this one back. Moi Koli, 44 centimeter. Okay, so I was on with the Kobe, which came off in the white water in the front. There she goes. And, uh, yeah, then my other rod went as well. So yeah, I think you live in the water for that. Okay, so just quickly, nice and simple. Chokaiki, five ounce sinker, clip. I've got the, uh, the Equinox 14.6, five ounce rod, well, three to five ounce. On the pen slammer, buy a like out for that. Nothing especially in Cape Town, well, I can't wait where the wind's blowing. You can really, get good distance with this rod with a small bait you know so and it's light so you don't cast against the wind you know okay Okay, uh, 
Now the choker and the Joby bait. I'll send this one a bit deeper now. Freestyle! 